Hi, welcome back to the Box Slides Game Channel. We're playing War of the Ring. We're heading into round two. And the first thing we need to do before we draw our event cards for this turn, remember every beginning of every turn we're drawing one character event card, one strategy event card, is we retrieve our dice. And for the three people's player, that means the three dice that were spent plus the one die that was in the hunt for the ring box. For the shadow player, however, and this is, I think this is a new or second edition. If the free people's player had placed a die here on the, on the previous turn, then they must leave at least one die here in the hunt for the ring box, okay? It's not how the rules say it. They say that you must play at least one die, but I find it easier to remember if I just take a blue die out of here, then I leave at least one red die here for the start of the next turn. So... Shadow player is going to retrieve the other seven dice. Remember, he's got one extra. He's up to eight dice now because Saruman has joined Middle Earth. Now we can draw our event cards. Three people's player gets Smeagol helps nice master and the last battle. I'm not going to look at the detail on these cards until we get to the point of playing them. I think it'll speed things up a little bit. And the shadow player gets Lure of the Ring and Hill Trolls. And now the Free People's player can decide to change the guide or declare the Fellowship. And he's going to choose to do neither. So we move straight to the Hunt allocation. And I think the shadow player is actually going to leave leave all his dice out here for the actions round. So no extra dice in the hunt box. So let's go ahead and do the action rolls. Three people first. Gets three characters and a muster. And the shadow player rolling. Seven dice. Gets three eyes. Not sure if that's lucky or unlucky. Two musters. An army muster and an event die. So these four are available for us to spend. These three, they've got to go to the hunt box. And that's going to make it quite difficult for the Fellowship to move this this turn. As per usual, we'll start with the Free People's Player. First thing the Free People's Player is going to do is use the Muster Die. And we're going to use this as a diplomatic action. So I'll discard this as used. I'm going to choose to move the Gondor nation one step down the diplomatic track. That means if Gondor is attacked anywhere they will immediately move to at war. Remember if a nation is attacked they move their marker one place down the political track. Shadow player now he's got two muster dice, a muster army dice and event die. Well in response to three peoples I'm going to take this muster die, discard it and move the Sauron nation to at war. Alright, things are starting to get a little bit interesting and they're going to get even more interesting now. Three people has got three character dice left and with the first one what you can do is, if you haven't got an event die, you can still play character events. Remember events are either character events or strategy events. This one here, Dane Ironfoot's guard, actually has the muster character up in the top right. So whichever character is up in the top right, you can use that respective die to play that event. So I'm going to play the We Prove Swifter event. And this says, separate from the fellowship or move one companion or one group of companions 
you may move them to extra regions. The movement of these companions is allowed to end in a stronghold under siege. Well, there aren't any strongholds under siege, but we can now separate some companions from the fellowship. And that means we need to go and grab them from the fellowship boxes up here. And there's a few things you need to do. I'm going to choose my companions. It could be one, two, three, it could be as many as I want. I'm going to grab Gandalf. And I think the Hobbit's go with him, so we'll grab Mary. And Gimli, I think, as well. We're going to take these three companions and we're going to place them with the Fellowship. Which is here in Rivendell. But we've got to move them now, because remember the Fellowship moved as well? But it could be that the Fellowship moved nowhere. But we've got one movement on the Fellowship track. Right, before we move them, let's just finish up over here. The next thing to do is remove their respective tokens from this little pool here. So we have to remove them and then shuffle this back up again. So that's Gandalf, Merry and Gimli. And these go back here. These tokens are used for selecting a random companion from the Fellowship. But we also need to grab their cards from here because they're no longer in the, in the Fellowship. So we take these three. And we'll place them over here with the free people's players hand and now we get to move them remember it said um, you can move them to extra regions well how many regions can we move anyway is the question well the answer is that the fellowship was last known to be here the fellowship track is currently at one which means we can move one region away from here but also each one of these companions has a level Gimli's two, Merry's one, Gandalf's three. And what that means is Gandalf with a level three can move an additional three regions, Merry one, Gimli two. But that's if they're all moving separately. If they're moving as a group, they can move the maximum level for the group. So if they all stay together, then they can move three, because Gandalf's level three, plus the one from the Fellowship ship track they can move four regions one way through might be through Moria here but because I've played we prove swifter we get an extra two movement so we can move through an extra two regions so I'm trying to get Gimli up to Erebor here in the top right there's very few ways through these mountain passes apart from Moria we can slip through this way but it's normal normally takes longer but with we prove swifter, that's actually going to be a better choice. So I'm going to move the companions down onto the Fords of Bruin, over the High Pass, to Goblin's Gate, the Old Ford, and move onto the Gladden Fields. I've got one more movement left, but I want to keep Gimli here so that he can use his two movement and separate off down the old forest road. So that's fine. I'm going to leave them there on Gladden Fields. Okay, let's discard Swifter and proceed to the Shadow Player's turn. And we're going to use a Master Dice to take a diplomatic action and move the Southern and Easterlings nation just one step away from a war. Right now it's three peoples and they're going to use one of their two remaining character dice to play another event. And this time it's going to be Smeagol helps a nice master. And we've seen one like this before. So the Smeagol helps nice master special hunt tile is now in play. So we'll grab this minus one token from the supply. And as before, we'll place it over here near Mount Doom. And then discard this one. There's a hand limit of six cards. So if you ever have more than six cards, you need to discard them. Uh, during the draw phase, you draw two. Um, and if that takes you up to seven or eight, then you'd have to discard one or two cards. So it's not a bad thing to you know play these events rather than 
have to discard them. Shadow player now, and we're going to use an army dice. I was tempted to muster and get those sounds on these things like more, but I'm going to use the army dice and move two units, I think, two armies. And this time I'm going to move the Southrons from Umber into West Harandor. And these in Far Harad to Near Harad. What we're trying to do here is threaten perhaps Pelagir and Osgiliath from the south. Now for the free peoples we've got one character die left and mm, I'm not going to move to Fellowship. It's a loss of a turn but I'm not that bothered because the Shadow player has not been able to achieve too much this turn so I don't think we've lost a great deal and that means his eye dice are wasted down in the hunt for the, for the ring. So with this character die we're going to do something else that we can achieve with a character die. The game comes with this action die reference chart so if you ever, are ever sure about what you can do with each die then you can look on here but with a character die one of the other things that we can do for free peoples only is we can right we've separated companions we used an event card to do that um, progress the fellowship or we can move companions and it says that we can move all companions on the map I remember they can move up to their level and Gimli here is level two so you can move two, and Gandalf and Merry, remember, we can move as a group, whichever has the highest level. So Gandalf's three, we can move three regions. So Gimli first, we're going to move two regions onto the Old Forest Road, heading for Dale. And Gandalf and Merry, well, they're going to try and head south and offer some support to Rohan and Gondor. So we're going to head south into Dimril Dale. We're going to bypass Lorien and head to Path Celebrant and the third and final move into Fangorn Forest and now the shadow player has one die left and it's an event die so we're going to spend this and with um, we've got four cards this one says if all shadow nations are at war so we can't play this one this lure of the ring says if the fellowship is revealed so we can't play that one um, Candles of Corpses say play if the Fellowship is not in a region containing a free people settlement, which it is. So that leaves us Hill Trolls. We're going to play Hill Trolls. Play if Sauron is at war. Sauron is at war. Remember, we moved Sauron onto the at war political track. And Hill Trolls says replace two Sauron regular units anywhere on the game board with two Sauron elite units. So these are the Sauron Elites from the Supply, and I'm going to replace these two 8-minus Morgul regulars. So they go back to the Reinforcement Supply with these two Elites. And we've reached the end of Turn 2. Let's discard this one. Now remember, the next step is to check the victory, a military victory, which there isn't. So we'll proceed straight into Turn 3.